Hey everybody, welcome back to the Thinking Crypto channel. Guys, it's a bullish day in the market. I want to talk about Bitcoin, XRP, VeChain, and some of the most bullish news in the crypto market. We got news from Goldman Sachs CEO talking about the future of Bitcoin and crypto, State Street investing in Bitcoin, and a huge, huge hedge fund getting into the crypto market, guys. Lots of bullish news. I'm going to break it down. Before I do, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and hit the subscribe button if you're new here. It helps support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything. Guys, I uploaded my interview with Sunny Lou, CEO of VeChain yesterday. You don't want to miss that, guys. VeChain is going to be one of the biggest winners coming out of this crypto market. That is not hyperbole. They are working with BMW. Um, they were just announced yesterday that, uh, 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 working with Salesforce. They are working with Walmart and Brayer and so many other companies. Lots of enterprise adoption. And I'm going to talk about the price today as well. And friendly reminder, I have a weekly newsletter. It's free. Link in the description. Please sign up. All crypto knowledge and insights. Look at the market, guys. Bitcoin over $60,000 once again. And I'm hoping this is the breakout towards 75000 So look at the green candle here on the daily chart. You see that breakout upwards. But let's see what happens, right? No one can predict the future. We're looking at the activity here. But look, the market's very volatile. You have some whales that could dump on us who are trying to short the market. But that's okay. Long term, we are headed upwards. We are in a bull market. And we're also seeing the altcoins pumping. Ethereum at $2,161. But of course, the story for the past week and a half has been XRP. Guys, look at this. It is up near 93% from a seven-day perspective. Wow, right? Currently sitting at $1.24. Look at the chart here. This is the daily chart. Look at these green candles. That is bullish, my friends. That's parabolic. If we change it to the weekly chart, look at that giant green candle on the weekly chart. Looking very bullish. So um, as you all know, uh, XRP is my number one holding. I've said that for years. I've shared my portfolio. Those of you who are channel members have direct access to my Google Sheet with my portfolio breakdown. And XRP has been my number one. So it crossing over a dollar uh, again and now over a dollar 20 has my portfolio looking amazing. Um, obviously, I was already in the green because of Bitcoin jumping to 60,000, Ethereum over 2,000. So across the board, I'm up and I'm sure many of you are up as well, you know, seeing some ridiculous gains. So very bullish uh, news here around XRP and uh, you know, if the things continue to trend in Ripple's direction with this SEC lawsuit, that could even force more bullish momentum on the price of XRP, right? Because some of this is technical analysis, but some of this is also Ripple getting some gains or, or uh, winning some battles within this whole SEC lawsuit war, right, so to speak. So um, I'm going to be interviewing Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse on April 19th, so you don't want to miss that one. And of course, we're going to talk about everything, guys. I'm going to ask as many questions as possible to get his insight on things. But congratulations if you're holding XRP. This is These are some huge, huge gains and long overdue, in my opinion. Um, the next holding that I am super bullish on is, of course, VeChain. Guys, it is over 14 cents right now. If you look at coin market cap here. You'll see um, it is, yeah, just over 14 cents. It's up near 48% from a seven day perspective. And I got in sub pennies, guys, and <laughs> below a penny. I'm sure many of you as well. And even if you got a, a, a two cents, you're still uh, making gains here. So looking very bullish. Let's change it from the daily chart to the weekly. Yeah, huge green candles. I love bull markets, guys. It's it's amazing. And you know what a lot of people miss about this crypto market? They always say, those who are kind of skeptics, oh, but it's so volatile. But they don't understand that volatility works both ways. And I always try to stress that. Yes, it's volatile. But this, the swings that take us very high also take us low. But it's so lucrative and and, and, and the ability to have a great ROI here uh, because of those that volatility is amazing. You don't have to wait um, 10 years or something like that, right? You can see some gains here as this bull market's uh, heating up and this asset class is emerging. So many folks don't get that. And I, I, you know, tap yourself on the back if you understand how the volatility works both ways. And uh, guys, VeChain, like I said at the beginning of the video, one of the biggest winners coming out of this market. If you don't hold VeChain or you don't understand it, go research it. Watch my interview with Sonny. 
they're, they're solving one of the biggest problems in the world of supply chain management and verification. How do you know a product that came from whichever country is actually that pro product and not a black market counterfeit or whatever it may be, right? And also it plays into corporate sustainability and um, he's, they're just doing some amazing things there. So very bullish, my friends. My portfolio looks amazing. I'm sure yours uh, does as well. And uh, be patient. We're only four months into this year of this bull market cycle. So we still got the rest of the year to go. Now, if anything changes on that front, I will be sure to let you guys know, of course. And you should do your own research. Obviously, this is not financial or investment advice. So here's the big news. Goldman Sachs CEO, big evolution is coming to Bitcoin regulation. We continue to think about digital currency and the digitization of money in a very proactive way, said CEO David Solomon. How the narrative has, has changed. Complete 180, right? Years ago, they were trashing Bitcoin, Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, JP Morgan, Jamie Dimon, trashing the hell out of the crypto market. Now they're all capitulating. They're all here. This is big time validation from a mega bank, the largest investment bank in the world, my friends. The ones that have uh, Goldman Sachs, if you understand, the power and money they have. You see some of these guys from Goldman Sachs go work for the government. If you guys remember Hank Paulson and all of these things, if you research all this, you will see the connections and this is big. They are going to influence regulations. They are going to uh, help move the things ahead because they have the political power. They have the campaign donations, all these things that they normally do outside of crypto. Now they're integrating crypto. They're on our side here. Now, I say that, but there's a grain of salt. You know, they're going to try to control the market and manipulate it in a way, but um, that's not going to happen in the immediate. It's going to eventually happen. And I think that's where the dumb money crowd, people who buy the top, are going to get screwed. Uh, but those of us who are on the smart money side with the institutional investors buying the low, um, we, we'll, we will ride the wave with them um, up to the top and obviously take our profits right so i hope you understand that and i hope you're not insulted by me saying people buying the top are dumb money unfortunately that's how it is in every market that's that's the, the ter terminology that's used so here's the next big news guys state street is helping build crypto trading platform for institutions man all of these guys are jumping in it is amazing so u.s banking giant state street with over three trillion worth of assets under management is helping to build a cryptocurrency trading platform for institutions state street's current karenex if i'm saying that right unit has partnered with arcane crypto back pure digital for the initiative uh, Karenex provides technology to institutional foreign exchange or FX platforms. London-based Pure Digital is building an over-the-counter OTC crypto trading platform for institutional investors, and Karenex is providing infrastructure for it. So notice here, not for retail investors, they're building it for whales, for institutional investors, guys. And there's still many more big money players to, and wealthy individuals to, who have not yet touched this market. And I think eventually they will with a Bitcoin ETF. That's why I'm, I'm hoping we get a Bitcoin ETF this year. But it's amazing to see all these people capitulate. I, I, I've been here since you know late 2016. Man, it was just a completely different narrative. The news was different. Now, now it's like, wow it's like euphoric when i see this because it's oh my god i can't believe this right goldman sachs all these big players and those of you who may uh, just have gotten into the market count yourself lucky you know you you don't have to be here since 2016 but I, I hope you go back and research and see the juxtaposition the contrast here of how things were before and how they, they have changed my friends and it's all moving towards crypto and the growth of this asset class uh, so it's amazing to see these big players capitulate here's another one daniel loeb's 17 billion dollar hedge fund is keeping crypto with coinbase and maybe even staking it third point is the largest institutional stalwart to be revealed as a client of coinbase custody so there's some that haven't even made announcements like these guys and now all of a sudden you're hearing oh they're they're in, in, invested in crypto and they're custody with coinbase and we saw paul tudor jones last year gave the green flag for all these hedge funds because he's of course a billionaire one of the the, the biggest uh, hedge fund managers and uh he said 
Bitcoin and crypto is the fastest horse in the race, and that's why he's taking a position. So it's pretty amazing to see this happen. So billionaire investor Daniel Loeb's deep dive into crypto last month led his $17.6 billion hedge fund into a familiar place, a custody deal with Coinbase. Loeb's third point LLC now holds cryptocurrency from five of its funds with Coinbase, according to a regulatory uh, documents obtained by Coindesk. Some tout billions of dollars in underlying assets, but it's not clear how much of that is crypto, which assets, or for how long they've invested. Um, pretty amazing, guys. Pretty amazing at what's happening. And of course, the Coinbase IPO is coming up next week. I'm excited about that. I think we're going to see some fireworks. And um, it's, it's, once again, just amazing to see this happen. Here's some big adoption news. Caruso Properties to accept Bitcoin for rent allocates 1% of treasury to asset. The move makes uh, Caruso the largest real estate manager to accept Bitcoin for payment. The adoption is happening here, guys. So in partnership with Gemini Exchange, the Winklevoss twins, uh, Caruso will now let tenants of its retail and commercial properties pay their rent in Bitcoin. This makes Caruso the largest real estate manager. Okay, I already mentioned that to you guys. Uh, additionally, Caruso has allocated roughly 1% of its treasury into Bitcoin. So they're following Tesla, putting it on their balance sheet, but also accepting it as payment. That's big, and I think we're going to see more companies do that. It, same way Paul Tudor Jones gave the green light to hedge funds, Tesla gave the green light to companies to do this, right? Um, it's pretty amazing what is taking place here, and it makes me excited, uh, you know, not just the news, but what that news will do for the price. Because make no mistake about it, I'm here to make money. I don't care about maximalism, tribalism. I want money <laughs> and I'm going to use that money if you saw my cash out plan to pay off my mortgage, become debt free, use that money to start a business and make some other investments, right? Not to put it in the bank to, to lose value because of inflation. So don't get me wrong when I say cash out, I'm putting that money to work to, to give myself financial freedom and obviously uh, build some new things. So for years, I've been talking about the Bitcoin mining boom that's going to happen here in the United States and uh, the Bitcoin mining and macroeconomic battle. Countries are going to start uh, fighting for the control of Bitcoin. And uh, we're seeing the rise of that here in the United States. And here's a big update from Riot Blockchain. They've, they've signed a contract to purchase 42,000 mining machines for Bitmain. Once active, these additional miners will increase the firm's Bitcoin mining hash rate by 93%. Uh, Nasdaq listed mining company. So they are listed on the Nasdaq. Announced Wednesday, it has inked an agreement to uh, purchase the 42,000 Bitcoin mining uh, machines. And Riot said it is expecting the first batch of 3,500 S19J ant miners to be delivered in November this year, with additional monthly delivery deliveries expected to continue through October 2022. So you see, these guys are having a long-term outlook and i hope you look at this market from a macro level not just the weekly and daily and monthly you got to look at it from a yearly standpoint and that's that's what has kept me through the bear market understanding the market cycles and being patient and of course using the bear market to my advantage buying the lows when there's blood on the streets since 2019 riot has made nearly 230 million dollars worth of purchase agreements with the mining hardware supplier bitmain uh, here's a quote, by nearly doubling its planned hash rate capacity, Riot continues to take great strides forward in growing both the companies and, listen to this, the United States share of the global network hash rate. See what's happening? What did I just say? Macroeconomic battle for the control of hash rate of, of Bitcoin's hash rate, guys. That is what's taking place. It's playing out right before our eyes. And you just look at where the mining is going. You look at states giving tax breaks to Bitcoin miners. You look at the mayor of Miami, who I've interviewed, who has talked about this. He wants to put Bitcoin on Miami's uh, treasury, a balance sheet. He wants to accept Bitcoin for tax payments and, and all other payments. And he wants to give breaks to miners. So... I'm telling you guys, <laughs> Bitcoin isn't going anywhere. It's going to be here. Now, there's a lot of maximalism in, 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 in the crypto market. And I can see XRP maximalists are going to start attacking me. Well, Bitcoin's slow, dude. What's wrong with you? But it's like, step back for a second. And I want you to think uh, objectively, not subjectively. 
Bitcoin is not going to be a daily currency that, you know, like XRP, it's fast, it's scalable and all that. XRP has a different use case. And both can, guess what, exist at the same time. Bitcoin is digital gold. You think about gold right now versus fiat currency. Um, are, my, are any of us carrying around gold bars with us transacting with it? No, right? You use regular currency, you use credit cards and all that. You use apps, payment apps, Venmo, whatever. But gold has a use case and you have to wrap your head around it. If you understand monetary policy and the history of money and gold, you will understand the digital gold use case for Bitcoin. So once again, two things can be true. Bitcoin is slow and whatever, but its use case of, of being a store of value is huge. That is a worldwide use case. That is why central banks hold gold and so on and so forth. And we are seeing a shift from money leaving gold into Bitcoin. Uh, I hope some of you get this because there are people who are very maximalism, tribalism. They don't think objectively. They're just like, oh, but Bitcoin sucks and blah, blah, blah. I'm going to stick to this narrative and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, no. You need to understand what is taking place here. That's why even Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse said Bitcoin just recently is a great store of value. Um, he said he holds Bitcoin and he's long on it. And I'm going to talk to him about it on the interview on April 19th. So I, I say all these things to make sure you guys understand what's taking place here. Um, this the, it starts with Bitcoin and there's going to be obviously different use cases for different cryptos like XRP does something different. VeChain does something different. There's going to be a lot of winners, right? Um, so guys, get ready to see the macroeconomic battle here play out between US and China and other world superpowers. Finally, uh, Wyoming is, of course, leading the charge on crypto regulations in uh, as far as states in the United States. Wyoming's new online sports betting laws okays crypto wagers. Pro blockchain lawmakers um, in the state have made cryptocurrency inclusion a natural feature of their legislative agenda. Uh, I love it. I hope more states do this. Of course, I want to see this blanket regulation from the federal government. But until we get there, uh, more states doing their own thing will help, you know, just opening this up. So Wyoming has legalized online sports betting with a new law that also allows gamblers to place their wages in crypto. Huge, huge adoption news. And um, I'm here in New Jersey, um, near New York, of course, and I'm hoping these states can can make the same move. But Move, this is a move in the right direction for adoption. And of course, the gambling industry is huge and a lot of it's going online now. So if people can use their crypto for leverage or whatever it is to gamble, big adoption, right? They can use their cash right now. Why can't they use a crypto? So uh, very exciting, guys. The future of this market is so bright. And uh, I'm seeing gains across the board like many of you. I'm going to keep a close eye on XRP because look, once again, up near 93%. You know, could could we see $2 um, by the end of the month or, or, or even into May? Possible. You know, we'll see. Um, rem remember, right? I know people get very excited about the momentary pumps for, for cryptos, but everything still for the majority of the time, the statistics show this, moves with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin usually has its pump. Then you have alt season, right? Where the alt point pump and then Bitcoin kind of moves sideways, which is what we saw play out recently. And then the alts will cool down. Then Bitcoin will pump again. And, and that's how it goes. The money shifts because guess what? At cer certain points from a technical analysis standpoint, Bitcoin becomes oversold, overbought. And then there's, there's you know, the, the psych market psychology, you don't want to keep... Um, it, or people are not going to keep uh, investing it. It kind of caps out, and then money goes to the alts, and then uh, Bitcoin builds a support level, and then people, you know, enter back in as as the news gets more bullish, like the ones we covered today. So, guys, what do you think about this? Could XRP see two dollars by the end of the month or into uh, early May? Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts and comments below. Hit the thumbs up button. Share this video, and I will talk to you all later. Mm -hmm.